Hello, Jim G. This is your brake booster that I fixed on my test machine. And as you know, the issue was seepage out of this bleed hole right here, which is your uh, first uh, indicator that there's an issue inside the brake booster. And what it's designed to do is leak here before the brake fluid gets into the vacuum chamber back here. So if this starts leaking, you know you've got a problem inside the booster and need to take care of it. Well, brand new from the factory, these boosters leaked because they were not um, uh, manufactured correctly internally. And in some instances, they had actually left parts out. I found on your uh, booster that the uh, special spring steel um, retainer that keeps the slave cylinder onto the vacuum shaft had been uh, uh, left off. So your booster would not have uh, survived very long. It, the, um, the master cylinder, the slave cylinder inside here, the piston itself would have come off of the vacuum shaft and um, you would not have any boost and uh, possibly could have had the um, piston uh, slide sideways and get it entangled inside the uh, slave cylinder and really mess things up. So I've got this all machined and um, uh, uh, custom parts in here to, uh, to, make the, to make this seal properly. And in addition to that, uh, refreshed all the rubber, uh, back, all the hydraulic uh, portions of it. Now then what we're gonna do is test the booster, but one of the test uh, ports uh, is not on your booster due to, um, I don't know what, why they did it. AT just, you know, they just goofy and some, I don't know, understand these guys. Anyway, this is a test port. Yours, as you can clearly see, does not have this hole right here. And this is uh, for um, putting a vacuum uh, gauge on your booster to check uh, when it's fully activated. And, um, and some boosters that were reproduced had the hole and some didn't. So for some reason, yours didn't have the hole. Now what that means is um, this, what it means is this vacuum hose right here is not going to be used and that this vacuum hose goes to this vacuum gauge. So this vacuum gauge isn't going to do us any good, won't tell us anything. This vacuum gauge is going to go up and read the um, uh, vacuum that is produced by my uh, vacuum pump and what is going into your booster. So it's just going to read vacuum. Ordinarily what would happen is we would activate the booster and the more the booster be was applied or activated the closer this got to zero but this gauge is not going to move so we don't worry about it what we're going to do is check our actual uh, uh, pressures hydraulic pressures and on this side we got the input these two gauges are tied together this gauge goes up maxes out this gauge goes up and reads final input pressure which is a function of my lever right here which is acting as the master cylinder. And here we have the output, and um, these two gauges are tied together. This gauge goes up, maxes out. This gauge goes up and reads final output pressure. And this is a two to one boost ratio, so whatever this reads right here, we're gonna read twice that on this scale right here. And what we're gonna do first, before we do anything at all, uh, before we activate the booster, just run pressure through here. Now, for instance, if you if you lose vacuum for any odd reason, your booster does not keep you from having brakes. It just keeps you from having boosted brakes. So right now, all we're doing is running pressure into the booster and it coming out of the booster. So you can see 350 in and 350 out, 350 out. So the booster uh, will just pass through fluid through it. Now when you when you um, add vacuum, Check for 
are holding vacuum, holding vacuum. Got a good booster. I'll let it sit on the test apparatus for uh, a day or so to check for uh, seepage just in case. I don't expect any because this is under 350 plus PSI of pressure inside here. And if there's any, anything was going to happen, it would have happened by now. Anyway, got you a good booster, Jim. Thank you. Um, I'm glad we were able to figure out how to fix these brand new defective boosters.